My name is Kara, and I am one of your Crunchy Life hosts. A little about me. All right, I am definitely a crunchy, crunchy person. I am a natural home birther. I had my first and only so far daughter at home. She is now 15 months, and uh, I live in Missouri. I live around the Ozarks in this beautiful, beautiful area. I'm originally from Arizona, so I'm used to the Southwest and the desert, but I am um, very outdoorsy, and this place is wonderful, but I haven't gotten to know my surroundings out here in Missouri yet, but it's amazing. So I'm now that my daughter is older, I'm going to be backpacking her on trails and hikes and canoes and all kinds of stuff. I just cannot wait. So I'm outdoorsy, definitely. Love to be active. Love to hike. Oh, I love it. Um, let's see. Let me get you to know me a little bit more. I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little out there. Uh, um, I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of person. Very spontaneous. Very, you know, non-traditionally, no schedules. Just kind of go with the flow. Follow your passion. Follow your bliss kind of person. And uh, it drives my partner nuts because he's very regimented and loves schedules. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> I am, so yeah, I had my baby at home. I had her here in my bedroom on my floor because <laughs> I couldn't get up because uh, I didn't want to. <laughs> and um, I had her with a, mid a midwife, not a nurse midwife, but a traditional home birthing, naturopathic kind of midwife. I think there's a big difference between nurse midwives who follow medical protocol mostly and then traditional midwives who are more homeopathic. And that's who I went with. And let's see, I am an exclusive extended breastfeeder, which means um, I delayed solids for as long as possible. I let her introduce herself to solids, and I will be breastfeeding her for as long as she possibly wants. I don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> I am a bed sharer, which means I sleep with my daughter in my bed, always have, and will for as long as she wants to. Um, yeah. I love it. It is so rewarding at the end of every day to just snuggle up to my baby. It is just amazing. Every morning I wake up to her smiling at me, and it's just, there's no, oh, anyway, it's awesome. I baby wear. I wear my baby whenever, however I can. I have a backpack style, a ring sling, um, a stretchy wrap. We do have a stroller, which is so not technically crunchy, whatever, but she loves the stroller. She likes to be pushed around, and but um, baby wear as much as possible. I pick her up whenever she wants to, which is challenging, but it's rewarding, I think. It helps her to feel secure. Attachment parent, just all the way, you know. I am a non-vaccinating, definitely very anti-vax. Some people are, you know, kind of on the fence or they're, you know, they're cool either way or they're delaying, but I am very passionately against it. We will get more into that later. And um, let's see, I'm an unschooling homeschooler, which means that I am just drawn to unschooling like no tomorrow. Every time I hear or read anything about it, I get further and further more obsessed. And it feels right for us just to follow your bliss, let the child follow their, their desires and their passions, and give them as much, as much uh, abundantly accessible resources to find their passion and find their education. But I'm very much about letting them follow their passions. We will get more into all these topics as the weeks go. Every topic, topic individually can be discussed in length, and we will. So this is just touching on this stuff. I'm trying to keep it short. So um, let's see. Stay at home right now. I am uh, all home all the time. Yay! Thank goodness. Thank goodness I'm in that position to do so. Um, and let's see. That's as far as my parenting style, kind of. I'll get a little bit more into my lifestyle. My lifestyle is... I have been a performer all of my life, as far as I can remember, up until now, <laughs> up until recently. I have always been on stage in one way or another, either singing, dancing, doing theater, you name it, directing theater, directing stuff, photography, modeling. I've always been that kind of person, and that's always how I've made my living. Hence my fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants kind of lifestyle. That, you know... But um, otherwise, politically, you know, philosophically, I'm very anti-establishment. Very, very anti-establishment. I think that uh, less regulation in all areas of our life, if not any, is wonderful. <laughs> and I am, I don't follow mainstream media, mainstream TV. I have not had a subscription to television in over, I think, 15 years. 
So I I'm big on the internet though. I'm big on the internet and I love Netflix and YouTube and all of that. Alternative media is where I get my media sources from because they are, you know, mainstream media can lie to you. Legally, they are allowed to lie to you because they're called, they're technically considered an entertainment establishment. It's true. Look it up. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. But we love our, our internet stuff, and I get all of my goody, juicy, you know, smut TV if I want to, but at least I can pick and choose on the internet instead of just being bombarded by propaganda. I like that to choose. You know what I mean? Um, what else? What else? I'm very DIY as much as possible. I'm learning more every day. I'm no master by any means. I am always striving to get more off the grid as possible. Meaning, like, I'll always want to be plugged into the internet, but I want to have my resources, power, energy, resources, food, you know, water, all of that, um, to be as self-generated and generated from the earth as possible. I'm into gardening. I'm into herbs. I'm into... I'm learning more about farm animals now that we're out here in like the sticks instead of the city. I am looking forward to possibly, eventually, hopefully soon, having things like goats and a cow or two or three and and horses and stuff like that, you know, chickens and pigs and things to kind of, but not a lot, not like a huge, I'm a farmer, but like enough to sustain our family. I think, er, I want to do that so bad, but it's hard work, you know? So I'm kind of in between. I do make... I'm DIY as much as possible, make all my own laundry soap, toothpaste, you know, fabric softener, dishwashing soap, haven't made my own shampoo yet, not yet, um, I, let's see, I'm learning to make stuff like soaps and, um, like bar soap, you know, and lotions, and I make face facial stuff, you know, cosmetic stuff. Uh, one thing that is not crunchy about me, obviously, is I wear makeup. <laughs> so there's some things about me that aren't crunchy, but I am definitely very crunchy for the most part. But stuff like makeup and clothes, um, yeah. I'm paper-free. I'm proud and happy to say that I have finally, finally achieved a disposable paper-free lifestyle. I will be talking more about that here on this channel and on my personal channel where everything that is disposable paper, like I still write on paper and I still read paper books, whatever, but disposable paper, toilet tissue, napkins, baby wipes, diapers, you know, paper towels, all that stuff is all cloth. We use family cloth for toilet paper. We use baby cloth wipes, uh, cloth diapers, um, you know, paper, cloth towels for all of our stuff. We don't throw any paper away anymore, and it's amazing, and I will talk more about that and the benefits of it, and it's just, I will never go back. Cloth menstrual pads, I swear, all of it, you think it's gross at first, but it's just amazing how, oh, it's so amazing on so many levels. It's just awesome. Okay, what else? Um, I didn't really make a script, so I'm kind of like trying to remember and not repeat myself. What else? What else? What else? Oh, I'm going to forget if I don't, <clears throat> whatever. So I'll just get to a couple disclaimers here, and then um, hopefully I'll remember what I wanted to say. <laughs> uh, firstly, I'm a very vocal and very opinionated and very passionate person about a lot of stuff. I'm a Scorpio, <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing. I'm a Scorpio. But um, uh, what was I going to say? A lot of people can and have and do misunderstand me, very much so. Uh, I've been mistaken so often in my life that I just have to make a disclaimer now because because I'm so passionate because I have always and do vocalize my my what I find to be awesome in this world and what I find to be enlightening and invigorating and what works for me I express it and share it but I am never saying to somebody oh I'm better what I'm doing is better than what you're doing or what you're doing is wrong I will suggest, I'll say, hey, have you ever checked out that? Have you ever, you know, well, gosh, you know, no, well, check it out, jeez, you know. But I am a, I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. And if I want to, if I think, if I'm sitting here trying to say, I don't think you're doing this right, I will tell you, I don't think you're doing this right, or I don't think that's right. But for the most part, it's not my place, it's not my business, as long as you are not harming me, not harming any innocent creatures in your vicinity or anything, do as you will. I won't have anything to say about it as far as what you do. But people tend to think and have thought that I'm sitting here on some high horse saying that my way is better and, and, and whatever you do, you're wrong. 
not true. If I want to say that, I will say it. I'll tell it to your face. I will say it. But otherwise, I am just talking about my passions. I am just being excited to share what I have learned and what has worked for me. And I will continue to do so. So if people take offense, it's their problem. It's their problem. There was a quote I just heard that was awesome uh, in pertaining to attachment parenting because a lot of people think that attachment parents are on that high horse, pompous, whatever. And some are. But it said that don't get mad at the marathon runner who's happy and proud that they just ran a marathon and are talking about it. Don't get mad at them because you choose to not run a marathon. Same applies to attachment parenting or any of this stuff. I'm going to sit here and talk about how awesome I think this is and why it works for me and why I'm against it, whatever. Don't be butthurt. If you can't have or don't want to have or weren't able to have a home birth, you know, don't sit here and be like, oh, I'm not as good of a parent. I'm not as tach I'm not as crunchy as you are. Woe is me. Or have any apologies. Or don't make apologies. Don't feel bad because you are where you are in your path. I'm not here to make you feel bad. I'm sharing what I love with you. And if you get anything from it, awesome. That's that's my philosophy. So people who have problems or think or or take things personally, it's their issue, man. It's their issue. Um, let's see. What else did I want to say? I don't know. That's pretty much it. Why I chose this crunchy path, I'm going to say this real quick. I could go on forever as to why I chose this crunchy path, but mainly because I was brought up uh, pretty loosely. I'm pretty relaxed with my parenting style. I let my daughter be adventurous and wild. I want her to be adventurous and wild and free, but still have, you know, um, what's the word? Still be respectful still understand personal responsibility, you know, still have manners. Uh, but I don't want her to be afraid of this world. I want her to go out there and freaking tackle this world and not be afraid. And um, that requires for me a lot of freedom for her to do so. I'm not a permissive parent. I don't let her just get away with everything and step back and take it. I'm not that kind of person at all. But I am a, you know, I want... So I was raised that way as well. I was raised with very little rules. I was raised, I was a latchkey kid. You know, I, ha I was home alone a lot. And uh, I don't think it was for the worse. I was let to allow, to, to, to develop my own style, my own way of being, my own spirituality, my own philosophies. I was let, I was not imposed upon. And I don't want to impose upon her. I want her to be free in as many ways as possible. Um, I was brought up with somebody who was not very spiritual, was not very religious, so I don't have that dogma on my shoulders. I was brought up with somebody who was very against, not against, but just, you know, don't tell me what to do kind of thing, and that includes government, yo. <laughs> uh, and not somebody who didn't, didn't believe in medical industry. I've never believed in medical industry. Uh, there's... I'm very passionately against establishment. I don't see where establishment has been positive more than negative. Yeah. So that leads me to my to my to my lifestyle, to my passion. Yeah, I, I could go on and on, but I, there's just no time. I just every in every avenue that I have found myself to become crunchy, that uh it just it vibes with my soul. It just it rings true. I'm an earthy person. I respect all life. I don't know. Did I mention I'm going to be vegan? <laughs> I think I did. I'm going vegan. Oh, I've been a pescatarian. I don't know if I already said that. I've made this video a couple times, so I might be repeating myself. But anyway, um, trying to cut this short, trying to get this wrapped up. That's it. My hopes for this channel is that you will gain something from it, that you will feel a comadre uh, ship. Is that a word? <laughs> that you will feel companionship from us, that you will be able to relate, that we will help you feel more comfortable in your path if you are uncomfortable. Help inspire, help encourage, reach out, share information. I want to learn from you all as well, so talk to us. Give us your suggestions, questions, topics, all that, okay? I will be seeing you next week. Mwah!